Hello everyone. Now I will uh, send a video with a clip with a one on one. Lirken against Kimmy Boy Chaos Refined. Okay, let's see here. So we got what well, two very insane good one on one player here that we will see. They're gonna play Kirsch Find. I will tell you what they will do and when they will do something, etc. Because I will see this as well. So they start with nature. They will do. What I usually do, uh, two sprites in hand. Uh, this will counter the marine if people send a marine. And why would you send a marine here? It's because some people actually own the two sprites. This is a risky build, but uh, this ant costs so little, so it's worth to just do the ant. So this is gonna be the start. Let's see. It's actually a copy by the builds. Then we start part with this Othmo that we don't can't see. We can't see the infuse, we can't see the value, and, and etc. and income. Uh, but it's okay. I will tell you what they have all the time. Problem wave one here, they will not run up most likely, and they will upgrade up to Thunderbird wave two if nothing special comes up here. We got Divine here. What will they do? You got two alternatives one, you can upgrade one Thunderbird like they can did, or you sell the end and you do a Vanguard instead. Uh, I'm not a fan of the Vanguard, but it's a melee, so. And you can opt your Vanguard later for to Templar. Uh, but the Thunderbird is strong early, so let's see. This is actually such a copy. Uh, yeah, we, we do play a lot of one on one, I tell you. We practice a lot. We did practice a lot for this one on one tournament that we. Would happen tomorrow, but we had two, two little participants in it, so sadly, for many reasons. Let's see. So everything and I just change here. What people would do. I know Kimi. He loved the Astromech units. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I know people too well, apparently. And who do the melee? This is a uh, cool. Uh, yeah. So. What do we know here? What Kimi did will be slight harder for 5, but stronger for 6. And it's opposite of uh, Lirken. It's gonna be stronger at 5 because you can upgrade that Panther if necessary. One upgrade for Kimi and one upgrade for Lirken. Now we will probably make the fourth drone here. You can't see when they are actually there. You go. You can't see when they are producing the gas. And I don't know why I'm saying the drones all the time. I'm just addicted to the really gonna game. Kimi did the captain. Smart choice. He did the captain too. Very interesting. So this is kind of a copy. And the reason Kimi makes the Astromech is because of some reasons. It's a very powerful unit, Thunderbird, and with Astromech it's even more powerful. And for later you can just make like the Yggdrasil there. And then you already got it.
So we got the necromancy for wave 5. Nobody's sending, but they don't know that yet. But two RBDs from Kim and two RBDs from Niklas. They got 12 income each. It's kind of fun to see. We had one guy who actually went for the bone over there. I know there's many people who, who loves this bone over there more than anything. And then we got Kim who do the Dark Mage, and I will tell you, I like Dark Mage more than over there. It's pretty fun how people think about this. Yeah, don't worry about these guys, Thunderbird who does make this powerful and crazy. Nobody of them is sending wave 6, because both is probably waiting for that. Niklas is saving for something, could be 7. Kima is upgrading. 3 RBD done, 2 RBD done, yeah. Niklas is going for 7, anyway. And... Yeah. Kima is holding back slight in the echo. But Kimi did something Niklas didn't. Niklas is Lirken, sorry. And Kimi did a Harpy. It's gonna help him so much for 10, I tell you. The Medusa is so powerful. Niklas, what are you. No, he's ending now, yeah. And why would you send against 7 with Thunderbirds and uh, Captain? And I will actually explain. Uh, the thing is, we play this game too much. If you see this, you're like, just say you're holding everything for six because you know he will send. And then people will actually drone up and think they will hold seven because they have the Thunderbird, so they will actually greet a little bit. But this time, it's like, if you greet here, I will still punish you. And as you can see, Kimi went for seven one here. Let's see how it goes. He do have Thunderbirds, Captain. Very nice. Medusa is slow. Yeah. Let's see. Is there a Marine or Titan? Marine, yeah. Let's see how this goes. These Thunderbirds need to work, I'll tell you this. And Kima's expectation here will be... No, not a chance he will send there. And as you can see, this result, even though... He got this one with a league because it's exactly what I said. Why would he send here? If he will, if he knew this, he will not drone that up, and then he would upgrade your Medusa, and he would do another uh, Thunderbird instead. So this is what I'm saying. Sometimes it's nice to trick your opponent as this. It's like turning the, the the skill against someone else. It's it's. It's pretty nice to see. Okay, so he got the slows now, so he's back on track for 10. Uh, but this is this game is far uh, uh, far from over now. Kimi got RBD here with wave 8 introducing. Okay, he got free RBD. He will not send before 10, uh, Niklas. So he will do another RBD in a couple seconds here. He should come any second here. Three, two, one. And poof, no. Okay. Why? Is he saving already for ten? Good boo. Yeah, he is. Okay, let's see how it goes here. We got divine. Uh, there is no actually point to do a unit here. You don't have to do profit or anything, even though profit is very good for ten uh, because of the dodging and DPS. See here. No, keep me saving everything as well. Smart, smart. Still think that uh, Niklas got a bit uh, problem for ten guys. So let's see. Niklas is still here. I'm sorry, I, I know them too well. How much he saved up? Uh, 
this is the thing with Silpy. They got they got units that is pretty okay with all these Takato and etc. But uh, for this one, he, he really needs to upgrade those uh, carrion splitters and Medusa. I tell you this. But he's thinking what to do. Kimi did a root champion, another one of those. Kimi, Kimi have a solid build. This is a solid build. I like this. Niklas did this one, this one, and maybe another. He did a Zeus. Okay, interesting. Yeah, more DPS because he already got the slow with Medusa. This here goes pretty equal sense. Let's see how it goes. Both will hold, no problem. What will you do? I, my guess is that he started at speed here after holding that one, but he cancelled it because he wants the unit here. He's gonna make the Yggdrasil. Uh, he sold that carrion splitter for the Yggdrasil because he got the Astromech. It's a smart choice. And he actually did the same. He cancelled the speed to do that one with the perfect position and with the Yggdrasil. Uh, many people play, play it more to the middle up. Uh, and it's got this strength and weakness, but for wave, for certain waves like uh, 14, 20, Lirken's position is much better. Because he will stay alive much, uh, much uh, longer and hold 14. Depends on what they send, of course. Let's see here. Kimi sent a Roach because he wants to confirm. He wants to confirm the Roach. As you can see, both are uh, pretty low echo, and for all rights, it's all to get the all units for right waves. Now Kimo would feel comfortable. But you want to confirm that uh, Eager Seal. Let's check the upgrades. Uh, Liakin got almost RBE, missing one. Kimo got RBD only. Saying the road, so you can see if he got Eager Seal. So the biggest change, biggest uh, comparison here is Kimi got a real champion to talk it further. And when Kimi don't have the bone over there, which is, yeah, it's gonna hurt. Let's see here. Kimi is saving for wave 14. Kimi is actually sad now because he either all already had the astromech. You can get a choice. You can actually try to make the missile array to counter the waves more. But then, yeah, he did. He did. Kimi is preparing for later. Mm. Let's see how it goes. Cost aiming a lot, and for 14, they will go on ultra and a feddling in aura. Ultra, I know that it haven't been official yet really, but Ultra is the best unit you can actually send, especially against the uh, Tree of Knowledge. And after that, they're gonna add a Fettling because of the healing. Teeter, very nice, very Teeter, very strong for 14. Still gonna be hard for Kima. He have the missile rate to hurt every unit here, so if I could. Yeah, there we go. Maybe Kimi can even ride Goliath. It's gonna be close. There we go. Let's see. Tight game, tight game. Kimi did a Goliath. And there's a Marine. Okay. Let's see how it goes here. The missile ray is so nice. Hurting so many units. And we got Kimi without the bone over here, without the healing. That unit. He's doing a hell of a nice job because of the Teeter, one of the best DPS in the game. Nice hold from Kime. And I will tell you, if he did get that Goliath as well, it would result a small leak. Because of the Goliath Sand are actually nice extra buff to the damage. Let's see here. 
Okay, so we got wave 15. The Malmen will probably come from Lirken. Place it there. Kima, he is to what? Thinking at least. What are you doing, Kima? What are you doing? Is Kima in there? He didn't do any unit with. Maybe he saved something. Oh, he max gas to send. Yeah, he did. He did. He did that. Uh, that thing. Just close your eyes, whatever comes, and you just send. But the question is, will it work? Automato. And the reason is like, why would you send against 14? I uh, said 16 against this and it's that simple the missile array is kind of most of the 90% of the time useless against 16 and Kimi will actually take advantage of this and Kimi got the array as well with perfect position he's sending pretty much this is why he didn't do any unit he's like fuck it let's 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 go let's go let's hope to get him to leak a lot now I, Niklas will leave what? This was a lot of sense. The knowledge will die on the right side. Let's see here if this is enough. And it should it be? Yeah. Very nice hold of Niklas. Check that kills in the Zeus. Really nice. And now? That was Kim's wave he wanted to try to kill him on. Visible for the buff later with the stairs and Malmans. And same with Kim, 82 of them. Thirteen three. What is the upgrades? So he is doing the shockwave. There, okay, you can see it here. Both are doing shockwave. Now is the question: Will they play out for 19, or they will play out? He's sending an observer. Okay, smart choice. Ancient. That's nice passing. Ancient when you have a lot of units is always nice. It's gonna buff all the shields up. And he actually tried to do the encoders and stealth because the encryptor actually block attacks. Very nice. Okay, both save gas for night. No, wait. Hmm. So this is Kimi. He will see this now. He will see the top server. The question is, what will he do? Will he go for it? Niklas is going for it. Save Kimi saved a lot. He's going as well. What is the passive? Necromancy. And we all know that Necromancy is one of the best passive in this game. Especially when you have the Tree of Knowledge who will blow up two times. And now Kima had the Keeper of Soul. This is pretty... I'm pretty, probably happy, happy with this. Yeah, Kima is sending this one to buff. Very nice. Will anyone leak here? Mm, I doubt it. He got the Dark Mage to the Misery as well. Necromancy is strong. Kima should do that Necromancy. Uh, dark mage to that uh, ray as well. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. I don't. I can't sadly see their value. This ray sadly is dying too fast. This is painful. Who die or will he hold? Uh, doing the shock wave. Don't have the attack. Let's see. He's doing one attack. They are bleeding though. The only sad part with this is that Kimi actually had to upgrade to get that shock. And poof! Shock wave, shock for Kimi. Nice. Kimi will be fine. Another shock wave, Kimi. There you go. Yeah, now he will send. 
but he can't. But this is the thing. And Niklas already, or they can already send a lot. What will Kimi do? What will they do? One of those. Two of those. Kimi, you need to try to send some units here. Come on, just a little bit. Send something, came back. He said nothing. This will result uh, uh, that uh, Niklas will pull this way. Because, like I said, if you have it on the right side here and it stuns, it holds 20 so easy. But if you have it in another position, it will die. So the reason Kimi lost this game was because uh, he had to upgrade that wave 19. Uh, the 16 didn't work out. Uh, yeah, it was a nice and uh, good game to watch. The re yeah, very nice game to watch. Okay, guys. That was 111. I will post more games. Thank you for watching. And you can always commentate and ask, and I will always reply.